Hey guys, so about a year or two ago, I did a video on IBM's Kitura, which was their implementation of uh, Apple's Swift programming language on the server. So they develop, uh, the Kitura was a framework and uh, a way for you to develop web apps using uh, Swift. And I found it very interesting because Swift is a very cool language. It has all kinds of modern capabilities built into it that makes developing an application easier than it would be with other languages. It's got all kinds of um, uh, protections in there and you don't have to deal with a lot of stuff you might have to deal with other languages. The big advantage though of uh, a Swift on the server, one of the big advantages anyway, was the speed. It was incredibly fast. Almost as fast as C++ without all of the headaches and the bookkeeping of C++. So you have the productivity of a high-level language like Python or PHP or Ruby, but without the super slowness of, of uh, Python and Ruby especially. Ruby is so slow. Look how slow Ruby is. And it looked really good. But as I said in that video with regards to Swift and Kitira, I said, you got big back, big backer IBM, and they're pushing it out there. So I said, pay attention, but don't jump in, you know, with both feet. Pay attention, keep an eye on it, as I did. See what happens. And I heard the news recently that IBM has basically jumped ship on Kitura. They're not developing it anymore, and they were the people behind it. And you ask yourself, why? Well, apparently there wasn't enough adoption, corporations that uh, IBM was targeting with Katira, they, were, they weren't interested. They're gonna stick to Java. They're gonna stick to uh, Python. They're gonna stick to uh, Node and JavaScript. Even though Swift and Katira were much, much faster. So I looked into it a little bit and apparently uh, there was like incompatibility issues where they would release a new version which would break the compatibility with the previous versions. That's what one guy was saying. Um, but at the end of the day, there, there just wasn't an adoption of the Kitira framework or Swift on, on the server. Now, there are other frameworks, apparently, uh, I have not looked at that uses Swift on the server. But, I, you know, again, I would be very careful and very, very reluctant to want to get into that unless you're just a nerd who wants to experiment with things because when you're looking at any technology, language, frameworks, what, ha what have you, you have to not just look at the language itself. You have to look at the environment around the language, the libraries, etc., around the language, and the support in industry, the support in the, uh, in the field. You know, you can have the most amazing technology, but if nobody wants to support it and use it, you're finished. It's not going to work. There are technologies, I won't get into it, from uh, the 90s and early 2000s that I thought were, were the bee's knees. I thought they were amazing, but nobody, nobody jumped into it. And they're dead. They're dead. They're dead. So there you go. So I think this is a lesson. Something I've been telling people for the longest time, as a developer, professional, you can't just look at the language itself, the technology itself. You have to consider the whole picture, the environment, the language or the framework, the environment, the ecosystem around it, and the adoption in the marketplace. I think I, I mentioned this recently. My uncle used to manage huge projects for the Canadian government, 25, $50 million projects, technology stuff. And he taught me that for a new technology to replace an established technology, it has to be 10 times better. Now, how you measure this is difficult to say, but as I've mentioned, I think in other videos, you know, Swift is on the server, Kitura, apparently, I have not used it, but apparently it was significantly faster, more, like, almost as fast as C++ on the server compared to, you know, what people typically use, Java, C Sharp, uh, PHP, Python, Ruby. But as I said, that speed of runtime is not nearly as important 
as it used to be because networks and computers and smartphones and everything is getting so powerful that the speed difference is not noticeable in many, many situations, if not the majority, most situations. So speed of runtime has a diminishing uh, impact in terms of the value of the solution at hand. Speed of write time, ecosystem, uh, support in the market are far more important. That's the way it is. It's just things are so fast, right? So things are so fast now. Anyway, there you go. That's it. Uh, you know, Kitero is still around. It's open source. Other people can develop it. But without IBM backing it, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I IBM is just, they just said, that's it. We're out. Boom. They spent a lot of money pushing it out, developing it. And they love it. I, I, even, I even bought a book on it. But um, that's the way things go. Welcome. Welcome to the world of the develop. Welcome to the realities of the development world. Thank you.